Okay, and welcome back students who are taking the financial accounting, working on the short exercises for chapter four. And this is the last video in this series uh, for this, for the short exercises. And I'm just going to just pick up with uh, 4-13 um, in the last assigned problem. And this one here um, says prepare multi, you know, this is the data from 4-11. Because 4-13 says calculate the gross profit and net income percentage using data from 411. All right. Um, so remember that uh, calculating the gross profit percentage and then an income percentage was covered under the three videos for uh, focus on decision making. Um, even though the you know you can look in your textbook and see the formula there, you might want to check out. Uh, the last video or, or two for the theory for chapter four, um, which gives a, a just additional thought process or additional insight into uh, working with those particular formulas. All right. So, with that said, um, we're going we're going to calculate the gross profit percentage, and remember the the, the formula for the gross profit percentage profit percentage is equal to the gross profit over the net sales revenue okay so that's the formula all right so um, when we're looking at the gross profit you know remember this is our our data when we're looking at gross profit what are we looking at um, you know if you've uh, watched the or if you work through the problems, let's see here. I'm going to bounce up real quick. Uh, income statement. I don't want to do that. All right. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So if you were kind of like uh, look watching uh, uh, 4-9, right? The short exercise 4-9. That video. Um, I went into a little bit more thought process on gross profit. But basically, for gross profit, what you have is um, your sales, and often that's in the form of a net. Remember, net being sales, less um, sales discounts, less returns and allowance. Okay, that generally gives you your net sales. And that's, uh, pay attention to that because that's what we're using for the denominator here, all right? So our net is sales revenue less sales discount less sales return and allowance, okay? Um, in order to get your net sales revenue. Right? So I've just covered the denominator there. But it also applies to the numerator in that for my gross profit, I'm looking at my sales as a net. And then I'm subtracting out my cost of goods sold. And that gives me my gross profit. Okay. So um, in this case here, we have a net sales revenue of 41000 500 and we have a uh, cost of goods sold of 21,000 so we subtract that and that gives us a gross profit of $20,500 okay um, now it's asking for a gross profit percentage right so my when I plug in the $20,500 into my gross profit and I know that my net sales is 41,500 to get the gross profit percentage divide 20,500 by 41,500 and you end up with 49.4 percent okay so it's just as simple as that right. so quickly I mean that, that was a lot of theory um, but let me just quickly work it out. If I know my gross profit, right, so I have 41,500 less 21,000. 
gives me 20,500. Okay, so then I, that's my gross profit, and my 41.5 is my net sales revenue. So I'm going to divide the 20,500 divided by 41.5. And that gives me 49.4% when I do the math on that. Right, so that is uh, the gross profit percentage. And the net income percentage. Okay, net income percentage is equal to my net income over my net sales revenue okay so we know our net sales revenue is 41.5 so what's my net income okay well my net income remember is my revenues well act, revenues less expenses gives me a profit or a loss or my net income however you know what are we looking at we're looking at ex uh, expanding these ideas so for my revenue okay I can look at it as a net sales revenue but in the revenue section I also can take into consideration the cost of goods sold which would give me a gross profit okay and then I take out my expenses in order to get a profit or loss right? but as far as my expenses are concerned, okay, I can take out my expenses, all right? But it's if you had, uh, let's see, it was um, 4 11, where we're creating this multi step uh, income statement. If you go back and you watch, or if you work through that problem, or if you watch the video for that, um, I had discussed the, this idea of the interest expense because remember here we're looking at total operating expense, right? But there was the treatment of the interest expense. And what I had said was when we end up with a gross profit, okay, then we can take out our operating expenses, okay? But we also have to take out other expenses. And under other expenses, we have treatment of things like interest expense, which that interest expense generally um, relates to, you know, your financial uh, in instruments that you have an interest expense on. It's not a normal part of your operating expense, okay? Um, that interest expense is treated on like, uh, you know, what you have to pay for, you know, a, note, a loan or a notes payable or something like that. It's not, um, you know, you're not paying interest on, you know, the tool you buy, okay? So when you're looking at your expense section in problem 4-11, we expanded that to, uh, to this idea right here, okay? So go back and watch 4-11 um, for a treatment of that, okay? For my explanation for that when I was creating the income statement. So over here um, for the net uh, income percentage, I'm at my gross profit less my expense, but this is my operating expense. And I also have to take into consideration my other expense, which in this case here happens to be my uh, interest expense. Okay. And then that gives me my profit or loss or my net income. All right. So um, in order to work down through these, let me. Uh, kind of look, do it in this uh, perspective, right? So we have, you know, our net sales revenue of 41500 unless our cost of goods sold of 21000 which we just did for, you know, the gross profit percentage, gave us a gross profit of 20500 okay? Now we have to take out our operating expenses. So our total operating expenses are 6475 and our interest expense of 375 and then that gives us um, let's see here I have to do the math 20,500 minus 6475 minus 375 gives me uh, $13,650 okay as a net income all right so that's my net 
income, but my um, my net income percentage is my net income of 13,650 divided by my net sales revenue, which was the 41,500. So when I divide that into that, I end up with a, a percentage of 32.9%. Okay, so let me um, go back over that real quick. Expenses, and I'm going to call this operating here. All right. So, um, you know, we had here is our basic income statement: revenues, less expenses. But as we gain more knowledge and information, you know, we're expanding, um, you know, the different sections of our income statement. In this case here, you know, our revenue section now shows all of this information so that we, we're talking you know we have a bottom line of a gross profit meaning yeah you know, here's what my sale was and then I'm taking out my cost so I have a profit right well, we're calling that a gross profit but that's not our net income all right that's the profit just on that sale we have to take into consideration all of our other selling and admin expenses and our other expenses Right. Selling and admin expenses, it can also be called operating expenses. And then our other, quit being so, and get this uh, so it's not so uh, hard to read. Then we have to take out our selling and admin expenses or operating expenses and our other expenses in order to arrive at our profit or loss. Okay, so we're expanding the different sections. And of course, you know, as part of that expansion, you know, even our uh, revenue, our net sales revenue is, again, you know, uh, re our sales revenue, uh, revenue less the discounts, less the returns and allowance. That gives us a net of our sales revenue. Right? Now, granted, we were given, you know, the net sales revenue right here we're given this net sales revenue in the problem so we don't have you know we don't have this calculation to do but normally this calculation would be here and then you take out your cost of goods sold in order to get your gross profit and then again from your gross profit you take out the remaining operating expenses and your other expenses so with that said you know we had again um, our uh, net revenue of 41.5 less the cost of goods sold of 21,000 gives us a gross profit of 20,500. Okay, um, but that's not our net income. All right, for the net operating net income percentage, we need uh, our net income, so we have to take out our other expenses. And so in that case, we had the total operating expenses of um, less 6475 and we had an interest expense of 375 which gave us our profit or loss or a net income of 13650 and so that was our net income which goes into the numerator right less the 41500 for the uh, net sales revenue, and that gives me 39.2% uh, as the bottom line. And remember, what, you know, what were we talking about, the difference between the gross profit percentage and the net income percentage? You know, as if you went back and watched that video, um, you know, keep in mind that the denominator stays the same. So, you know, associate, so you don't have to memorize everything. Associate the 41.5, the net sales revenue, as, as part of the denominator. So what's the difference between gross profit and net income? Well, gross profit and net income. That's what goes in the, the numerator. Okay. 
So uh, use that association in order so that you're not memorizing everything and uh, you're associating it and making it a little bit more intuitive. And that's it for this problem. And if you didn't understand it, you know, obviously contact an instructor. Um, you know, now we're going to be in the next series of videos. We'll be moving into the exercises for Chapter 4. All right, so I'll see you then.